Damn it. Well, uh, it's gonna be a minute. I'm having issues because it's gonna be fixed today though because uh getting a new new controller. Uh and I have new micro USB cords that aren't finicky. God damn. It's gonna be great. I don't have any disconnections of this. like the way the map is set up. Easy to remember. First, like, four artifacts just get stacked on top of each other. It's five. Okay, so... Uh, lunge, defend. Way we get super slugger. Hey John. What's up, bro? Welcome to the stream, bro. Okay, so what's next? Color blocks goes north gonna stack these fuckers on top of each other so the next one is the highway will go on top of that and I think the flame goes on top of that hey thanks for the luck uh, My big thing on this one is going to be to pick up tons of items because yesterday <laughs> yesterday I didn't have enough money. I had to get a shitty knife. And so I don't want that to happen today. Beginning of this is identical to um, all events. Grab Nick, dismiss Puzzle. Puzzle's gonna try to get back into our party. We'll refuse him. Hey, Monocle. Hey, Griffin. Welcome, everybody. Sorry, I was old. Uh, I got business with the rabbit. Ay, 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 I can't believe it. Never get that time back. Frickin' Mark. Well, really, it's Dwell. I'm I'm uh, trying to avoid Dwell and bumping into wrong NPCs. He's like I'm, he's like quiet onion. I'm like ten seconds behind. So... 
I'm going to be bouncing in and out of the guide, so if I miss something in chat, I apologize. Okay, so, place, wheel, we're going to do that. Here's where I'm, I might even pick up, well, it doesn't really, yeah, items are, are probably a good thing because Nick's going to take all our money. Clear feather, that's good. Maybe we'll even get a flaming quill. Okay, now we have an ST. That should have killed everybody. I'm gonna pick this bad boy up. Fifteen seconds walking. Oh yeah, cool, Monocle. Go for it, dude. Thanks for the lurk while you work, Griffin. Appreciate that. Yeah, I think that's why it's nice that I've got those nightmare percent unlocks because I always ask y'all what you want, what category you want, and Ezrim said fairy, and I was like, cool. I think fairy is the oldest run I have, so it might have the most PB potential. Not that I'm trying to PB because, um. What I'm really trying to do. Hold on, I really need to be paying attention. Is um, just gathering items for this for this flail I want to make. I'm learning a new route at the same time, and it's pretty nice not having a grind. Bro, it's so much work. Yeah. It's insane. Um, the only thing that I'm really truck that I lately, in the past year, putting effort into trying to PB is really just all events. I, I kind of got exhausted on the others. Although, 
I was fortunate to PB in Dragon last year with Lemur's new route. Um, and I got lucky. I got lucky with the Levitine drops. So it was it was kind of a free PB. Pretty awesome. Yeah, effort during the pandemic. No thanks. I hear you. I hear you. I've had less less uh, energy than normal. Yeah, it, it is, Griffin. I totally identify. Yeah. A lot of times, too, I'll get going streaming and then I'll be like, meh, you know. Be like, meh, my mood. Not what it was an hour ago. <laughs> What's up, Gnome? Yeah, to speedrun. It can be... Uh, kind of... It's hard. It's hard. Because I know for me, like, sometimes I'll get all excited about a speedrun and I'll try to PB. You know, with the hopes to PB or whatever, and then... You know, like that first or second time that you rip, it just like pulls all the energy out of you and you're just like... Yeah, do I want this? <laughs> yeah, playing those casual fun games is a nice way to... Get back and... Let the stress roll off for a bit. Play a little Goman. Play a little Mystical Ninja. Yeah, Mystical Ninja is pretty sweet. It was among some of the first games I owned for the 64. I think the first game I had was Quest. Second, uh, probably ended up getting Goldeneye or something, and then pretty sure Mystical Ninja was was around there too. Ooh, 25%. That's a good chunk. That's going to be fun. <laughs> You're sweating like, oh, great, now I have to do it. But I hope that it reaches 100 because I want to watch it. interesting route edit because it cuts out Lost Princess. Uh, the big thing with Lost Princess is that I think that was just like the way to get an axe, you know? So by buying our, our, our weapons in this run, it's a whole split out plus the grind. But the bad news is if you don't have the money, then you have to buy like a... You either rip or have to buy a less powerful weapon. Actually, the big thing is this. I'm just not very good with swords and knives. I'm okay with one-handed sword. But I bought a knife yesterday. Oh, man. Yeah, Quest 64 is... It used to be my favorite game. I don't know why I never... Why I haven't speedrun that yet. Because I was obsessed with it. No one, like, when everyone was all into, like, Final Fantasy VII and everything, I was like, a 64, bro. And, uh, 
I don't know, man. I could just see myself learning that one day because I really was way into it. But it's funny because you just... So many great games out there. So much... You don't have all the time in the world. And, and Legend of Mana just stuck. Like, three or four years ago when I realized that speedrunning was a thing. I'm so happy that I remembered this game. Because I'm trying to remember, like... You know, I must have got on... Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to stop. Must have got on and been like, oh wow. Oh. Been like, oh shit, I forgot all about Legend of Mana, that's a thing. You know? And then it was pretty much over from there. Um, a lot of great games out there, but I just have trouble stop. I have trouble trying to stop playing long. Not that I'm trying to stop. It's hard to stop because, especially the last year, there was so much forward momentum in this game. So many things realized, and so many PBs and world records and skips and all that, that it just like reinvigorated me, I think. Oh, got an iron pot. Yeah, the iron pot is probably the strongest. Is it a helmet? Whatever it is, it's like one of the strongest for the longest time. It's stronger than a soldier's helm, I think. I think the bloody mask is the only thing that's stronger early on. Unless you temper, were to temper something. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, what am I thinking with these seven hour runs? We got time for those seven hour runs. Luckily, yeah, so it's kind of fortuitous that I lost my job because I've had a lot of time to focus on um, all events, one of the longer runs, and I wouldn't have had time otherwise, probably. I recall you do this here, in the jungle. Ride of Domino. Oh. And we go into tea time. Got an iron pot. Yeah, I love the iron pot. It's pretty awesome in all events. Because you can have it when you're fighting Laban and when you really need it. I should put Counter-Strike on for this level. No shit. 
Although I don't even think I know Counter Strike yet. Kinesis activation. Taco Chomp. Lucky will get a moon rock tiara. Nice. Ah, oh, he, he took me to the other side, but then he brought me back somehow. Oh well. So I hate this boss. Let me just tell you, this boss sucks so bad. Oh, you know what? I should probably be counter-striking her. Dude, I don't know. Hey, Azuram, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Uh, after this, we'll do a- we're gonna work on that flail for the Nightmare Run, so that should be fun. Welcome to the stream, dude. Oh my god, I hope this goes halfway decent. No, 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 you don't. Bad as last night though. Last night was atrocious. <sighs> the biggest thing that was so weird was when I was doing this for the first time in years last night was that I was like, holy shit. I, I can't one shot everything. What's going on? How come everything's taking insane amount of hits? Spirit above the ruins. Torch of coral above the mines. Torch of coral above the mines. Jade egg right of the highway.
rusty anchor above that, and then we'll enter Qualpata. This is where it gets Monka S. I did that right. We're really just entering Palpata to buy a hammer. I think the other thing I'm going to do is unequip my current hammer. So I can sell that as well. I already sold all the dang items, I just realized. Seven fifty, I think, is what we want. We just don't have much stuff. Oh, we have the money. Cool. Somehow we have the money. We have a decent run. Here we go. We have a run. Do -do -do. Now we go to the jungle. So here's what happened last night's run. So last night's run, I didn't have the money ended up, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if the one-handed sword is slightly more expensive, but I felt like I didn't have any, I, I felt like the only thing I could afford was a, one, was a knife, and so I got a knife. The thing about knife is I'm not used to it, it has a different cadence, and um, so jungle was pretty awful. And then after jungle, I had the money. I went back and bought a hammer, and things weren't so bad. But wasted a lot of time doing that. I think. Uh, yeah, Punk Master took ages. When we get bounced back here, we will immediately see Skippy. These battles were a nightmare. That was way easier.
Fuck me, I meant to do blammo. I guess Blamoda wouldn't one shot. So wish I'd save my Blamo, but I don't think it would one shot him, so back to the old Really? Crazy. <laughs> oh well, still way better than the last night. Definitely have a run because the only other hammer we have to buy is the gold one, and we're gonna buy it with the dead bear monies. We're going to enter the forest and do the next event, I think. No special stuff. After that, we'll enter Gato. Yard of Rain. Jesus. Now we get, uh, oh lord. Again with the fuck me. Jesus Christ. Not having a 233 weapon is extremely weird. Ah, oh, so what I should have. Yeah, I did Super Slugger instead of Blamo, so that sucks. slower, but it should just be a power cancel over and over and over. Thank you. 
Yeah, it took like seven times longer than that last night. I was using a knife. And I don't know how to use a knife. Go back to this cutscene. Uh, we basically just go fight a good. Spriggan was pretty rough, but again, pretty sure I fought Spriggan with a knife too. Only went by the hammer <coughs> after this, maybe? Friggin' without a one shot or hammer is right. Bowling ball. Last night. <clears throat> I don't think he spit out any enemies, which can sometimes suck. Ooh, and we didn't lose our experience. Okay, so what's next? Next up. Place the stone eye right of home. 
Right of home. I should have done a blammo there. I don't know. I guess I was wondering if I needed it for something else. this blammo on right habit. Damn.
So yeah, all these battles are so different than uh, all events. <coughs> they take three or four times as long, and you have to think about strategy more. Like the stone eye is going to, it might swing up in the air and then come down. It might disappear and reappear. It might do like one of two or three STs. Hopefully I can get a super slugger off. <coughs> yes, what's up, Jiglin? We're gonna eat we're gonna eat the captain, hopefully. Or we're gonna eat the Gorgon Eye. Major Jiglin, good to see you, my dude. Alright. See what this battle gives us. Okay, this one disappearing act. Thanks for the good luck, man. We'll see if he goes into ST. Nope. Cool. Two disappearings, but no STs yet. Here's an ST. Uh, I hope we don't whip. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Get a shout out here for my buddy. Shout out for all, all my buddies. I don't get to shout out Major too often. Major Jiglin is really awesome streamer. Go check him out. Resident Evil extraordinaire runner. Overall cool dude. Okay, Nyx two. Go back into Gato. Hope I'm on the right one. Yep. We're gonna go to the temple. Then we'll, I can't. Uh, last night I made the mistake of forgetting to talk to Nick. I had to double back. So let's not do that this time around. Right. Keeping into the penguin windows. What a creep. Right, so we're all set for the burial hound. Except we just need to do one event on the way out, which is next two. Okay, that went so much better. Yeah, that's awesome, Jiglin. That 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 emote is so badass. All right, so we all know what to do here. We just go to the waterfall, go through the motions. Niccolo calls us a liar. God damn it.
So yeah, after this, huh, we just go right to the lake and do the thing. The lake is down near home, I think. So also the hound was kind of ridiculous yesterday. The thing with the hound is if it has a blind spot and if you can get to it quick enough, early enough, then you can really own the battle sometimes. pretty mercilessly from those and uh, treat nips yesterday and zombies <laughs> they were all hating my guts Yeah, I'm pretty sure this battle did me in pretty pretty horribly. I almost died, I think. Almost to the hound, and then so the hound's gonna be pretty rough, and then we've got a pretty pretty long cut scene afterwards. So decent amount of mashing, but we are over halfway through the run, so that's good. A real oh, what's funny, and I've I've mentioned this before, is that uh, the real hound when it starts off, it sounds really. Um, up to the task of battle, it's like, oh, you know, but after you kill it, god damn it, this guy's such a turd, um, that was how many seconds wasted, when you kill the hound, he goes, Ooh. it's like, this really, like, it's so different, it's pretty funny. Yeah, it's like very light and barely there. 
Because we just bludgeoned it to death with a hammer. Oh, I hate that part. Damn, you guys got so much help. Uh, well, the thing about the hound is it does what it wants to do, so no matter what strategies I have prepared, it can at any moment disappear. Well, it doesn't disappear, but it just takes off to the other side of the screen. It's rough. Sometimes it works out real well. It's not so bad in the all events, because it doesn't take very long to kill. Alright, we're going to try to get this blind spot. See how he got out of it, though? See how he got out of my... Ah, a little too early. Ugh, am I gonna die? See what he does? Ugh, I think I'm gonna be... Ugh. We got him now. Oof, except that I just whiffed it or missed my input. That didn't help. That wasn't as bad as yesterday, I don't think. I don't know. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah. Well, I did get a small stun, but it, it, it could have been worse. The lightning got me just a little bit. Whew, that's rough. So yeah, if you can get the blind spot and get him somehow cornered, <clears throat> it's not so bad. I should have just jump canceled. The reason that he got out of that is because I wasn't doing jump cancel, probably. <laughs> if it wants to fuck you, it will. Yes. Pretty rough. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, the AI, whoever wrote the script for it, did a good job. I mean, Counter-Strike, you can Counter-Strike him. I should have put Counter-Strike on. Um, it's just been so long since I've played these runs where you don't have a strong weapon. Uh, Blamo would probably be okay, but the thing is, I never know... I never know when these bosses are gonna... switch it up. Is it inconsistent? Okay. My best bet is probably gonna be to find that blind spot and just jump cancel him and hope for the best. I don't know. I'm, I whiffed on that, um, I should have done a blammo maybe instead of a... Okay, wait, what do I do now? Now I enter the mine. We just do the mine. <laughs> should have jump cancelled him first off when I got had him cornered. The Feather ST, yeah. I should have just used Blamo. Um, the thing I get scared is that I, I don't know which ST's coming. And I'm afraid that... And it's so I do the wrong thing. Because the Feather one isn't so bad. But the other one's real bad, and so I get all nervous. Yeah. Frickin' Burial Hound. So these things are stronger than a mole bear.
That was a nice clip. Here goes nothing. Hopefully it doesn't start off with ST, please God. I don't know, you know, what do you do? Branches are funny looking. Like, the right one looks funnier than the left one. But look how weird. The right one is hilarious. Right. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the Super Slugger, if it had landed, that would have been nice. I'd love to see the Hound just go flying. Again, yep. That's a goal, dude. Okay. Oak. Getting close to the end, I think. Kind of. Talk to Oak. Do the cutscene and then leave and talk to Oak. Can we go to Gato? Light mistake there. We'll get a gato.
Always forget to split. Totally monocled, I hear you. It's rough, dude. At least you're on the board, that's great. That's a starting point. I'm fortunate. I, I only did like, I don't know, a handful, maybe 10 attempts, and I got a levitine and at least, I guess at least once I got the Levitine and didn't ruin the rest of the run. I was able to get a PB off the old route. I mean, off my old route run. Which was probably like a first try or second try or splitter type thing. Too many attempts. Yeah, I just forget about it. Forget about it. Uh, so chat, should I be trying to Counter-Strike Dana? Or should I be taking Dana with me? What do y'all think? Or should I not try to Counter-Strike Dana, but... Still kill her? Um, here's the thing, is Salva Skip's awesome, but I'm more worried about Dana screwing up my Irwin. that makes sense. I like I would lose a lot more time if that were to happen. I want to counter Dana. Cool. Uh, what do you do, Marco? Do you, do you bring a Scott or do you bring Dana? there yet. Counter-Strike to work, bro. Oh, that's what I should have done with Spin on her. It doesn't save you much time. Well, the, the, the battle might, but the skipping Selva... I mean, if you were really good at sneaking in there, you might save 10 seconds, right? 15 seconds? That was rough. Next time I'm starting with a spin, I'm getting right in front of her. Infernal Doll. Probably killed any lead I might have had. So, Infernal Doll. So, just enter Gato again?
replacing the bridge and all that. probably good for me anyways right yeah don't know if I care enough maybe if I were like neck and neck with lemur or something <laughs> you know bridge goes below home dog as right of Lucinia. Doll right of Lucinia. Well, I'm definitely doing better than last night because last night I didn't think that I could save time on this next split, whereas now I feel like I might be able to. We'll see. Hollywood. That was 
I don't know. That wasn't that great. <laughs> okay, so... We're done with that. <laughs> I'm a magic ride of the jump. Moon above, above. Moon above Geo, sand rose above the... Sand rose above the tower. Here's what we got, gold hammer. <clears throat> And then Firefly Lamp will light up to a pump. We're gonna be pushing it, so... I, I don't know if we'll save time or not, but I think we're kind of at least on pace. Hard to say. I'm not sure the exact duration of Fairy's Light. Right, exactly. Yeah, if you get those swags, it's nice. If you don't, you're like, man, I wish I hadn't have gone for that. <laughs> yeah, consistency tends to win out. Read. Okay, so... Oh, but I did get a gold yesterday, it said. There's a, it was kind of unexpected. Like, this is faster than yesterday, though, because I got to the puzzle guy quicker. Come on. Don't have to buy a glow crystal or nothing. So this at least shows that Gleamer's route is comparable to the old route. That's cool. I feel like we might lose like 10 seconds. I don't know. It's just a guess. So after this, we place the spoon below Lumina. It's like an open spot there. And then we go do the worm.
Nice, dude. We're going to save time. I thought we were going to lose just a hair. So another gold. <coughs> And I get a pee break. So also I wasted time trying to get self skip without a partner and that was dumb. And so I won't do that this time. I know better than to even try to get this. When you have Nick with you or somebody, it's a lot easier. But then I think the next battle is skippable, right? I think I got jacked up on these snake battles too, so everything's going way smoother than yesterday. Jump cancel and power cancel. Like, can't remember how to one shot everything. Jesus. Hey, Box Ty, how's it going? Hey, thanks. Yeah, it's actually going pretty well. Appreciate appreciate the uh, you swing by. Yep, we're close to finishing the game. This is the last split of the storyline, so we're doing pretty good. need a good Erwin battle.
Okay, last time into the worm. Sometimes those things can block. So I found if you do a jump cancel, sometimes the second hit will get them, you know. Okay, fingers crossed. Last night's other one was really good. Okay, so I'll take my break and I'll be back.
Okay, let's see how how we're looking. Looks like we're gonna save maybe a few seconds. Nice. Okay, Cage of Dreams. We might get into 147 today. So, Cage of Dreams, you go home and you leave and then you come back. My controller is tripping out. Pop cat. Did you hear that? Uh. That was, you guys heard of that SCP toolkit that'll help you use Sony PlayStation DualShock 3 on your Windows 10 laptop? It's making noises and popping at me. We have detected. Scary. Sons of bitches, come on. Got a gigas flow. Okay, so the new FF5 shit is crazy. I actually didn't look to see what year that w had come out, so I'm not sure how new it is. Because, like, the Legend of Mana Tass. We were like, holy shit, no one ever seen it, and it was like 10 years old or something. But anyways, uh, it's a PSP version, which I don't know anything about. And what happens is, I don't understand it, but it's some sort of memory corruption. Um, starting around the time you finish the water crystal, um, they did some sort of save, and then you go to the... I was thinking about watching it on stream and talking about it. One month old? Okay, cool. Dude, let me tell you why. It's insane. And I could, it took me forever to figure out what they were doing. But, uh... Okay, let me drop the Sword of Mana. Oh, it's right here. Okay, we need a much better Mana Goddess. Holy shit, remember? I think we should do spin counter strike. Um, you corrupt the memory. Uh, you get to Karnak and you do some crazy stuff. And basically, you get to like. Phantom Village early. You do a bunch of things. You end up buying like level 3 magic. You get the thief knife. And then I thought that, that, that he was going to head on to like Neo or something. But then this 
runner goes and comes back in to like the point where you go to Ronka. I think you you might skip you either skip over Karnak dungeon or you or you just fight the boss or something but either way it's stuff like that and then when you it's crazy dude at the end when you when it gets to neo everyone's maxed out somehow on like 999 and the characters are like weird they have like they're like the character names have like special characters and shit in it and um it's insane basically it's funny because the strat is everybody at the end is like a monk and they all do like 999 damage. It's. Dude, we should just watch it on the stream soon <clears throat> and talk about it. Shit. That's where I was. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, dude. I had a really fun time watching it. Dude, I know. I mean, I. it looks so much fun. It looks way easier, actually. Not easier. I don't know. Hard to say. The thing is, I really wanted to run FF5, and I, you know, guys know how much I love FF5. But the step count on that run, the, the, the current route, is just so brutal. And it made me not want to run it. So I wonder what the step count's like in this new one. It looked like they were doing some sort of step count sometimes. Not sure. Come on. All right, man. All boils down to the mana fight, mana goddess fight. Buy up every PSP now, dude. It's such a sweet run. We're gonna have to watch it on stream. The way we did the Legend of Mana task. A lot of fun. The first, like, up to the water crystal, it's not, it's pretty it's straightforward.
Okay, an okay start. Okay then. We got it, man. That was rough, though, you know? <sighs> okay, so we'll play this out to the end. That was fun. We'll save, and then we can use this to... We can use this file to build the flail, I think. Which reminds me, I need to pull up the list of items. Yeah, I love the Wario creep smile. I remember, man, you might remember this one time, it was hilarious, where, and it happened often, but the man guys just didn't like me, and you'd be like, she does not like you, or something. It was funny. Hey, thanks, Fox Ty. That's a sweet emote. She didn't like me, Mookie. Thanks, Monocle. Yeah, she didn't like me too much there, but I, I fucked her up anyways. I was like, whatever. Get a blame of you. I think we're done mashing. I hope we are. But yeah, uh, let's see if I can look at this list. So the detecting zone, John. Gave me a couple of recipes. Can't open them on my phone. This one, though. So I have some. Here's the thing I can make a pretty easy, pretty fast. I can make a flail the same way we made the hammer in all events, and it'll turn out to be 177. That's strong, but. <clears throat> Strong and fast to make. But I can get into the 200s closer to 3. I can get 262 with this other one that John made for another streamer. And then a crazy one that goes up to 460 attack, but it's probably going to take me like a day to, you know, 150 items. But I think I'm going to settle on this Ish Platinum one because it's 283 and it only uses 53 items. That's not bad at all. So the first thing to do would be to get together this item list. Oh yeah? I got fourth place? I was wondering what a good time was for Emulator Fairy, because I am so out of the loop. I like when she jumps back from a counterattack and doesn't jump back into the final moments of the hitbox. I throw out a quick attack and then hit counter again. Yeah, I like that strat to use, man. I, I, I can't believe I didn't use it, but uh, I think he told me once to use the spin attack or something. And it'll, like, get her to attack you and then you can just counter her perfectly late question but what makes ff5 step count so bad uh so it's the type of thing where you know if you fall off of it it's 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 super hard maybe impossible to get back on and it's part of what i think helps you get that low time because you're you're avoiding encounters um, there is a backup strat. Well, so on the world map, on the Japanese English translation version, if you, um, I think pause the, the game or go to the menu after X amount of steps, it will reset the battle, the, uh, danger counter. You can do that if you're off step count. 
because the step count is so thorough that it even covers the world map. Really? God damn. That's awesome, Monocle. Thanks, everybody, for the positive feedback. Thanks, Mickey. Thanks, Gnome. So, thanks, John. Uh, so, you know, this is the second time I've used Gleamer's new routes to get an easy PV. It's not easy, but like a PV. You know what I mean? So, shout out to Gleamer. But anyways, um, so FF5, I just, re you know, if I were to revisit it, I might not feel the same way, but I just remember, like, really struggling with the step count because it's really easy when you're going fast to move one step extra in the wrong direction and now your step counts off if you're a really good experienced runner you can so i the reason i did so well is i have a new controller well i have a new controller coming in today but i have this other controller that i bought at goodwill like I don't know, three months ago? It's a Sony... Oops, it's my little kit. It's a Sony DualShock 3, and it works flawlessly. All I had to do was take a cord that I happened to have. I think it was from an... I think it was from a generic PS3 controller that broke, and plugged it in, and then I downloaded... Yeah, I'm getting a new new one also today that I'm hoping will last me long term. But this, like, $5 Goodwill one got me this PB today. Um, so it worked out pretty nice. It's got those rubber grips where you can wiggle around a little easier. DS4, yeah. So I'm finally getting a DS4. Well, I don't know if... Well, I don't know if what I'm getting is a DS4. I think it's a PS4. But I don't think it's a DS. I don't actually know what that is. Dual shot or what's the highest dual shot now? You don't like the trigger buttons? Yeah, we'll see. If for some reason I don't like it, I, I have this one. But people that I know and respect like it and use it, so I'm gonna give it a shot. And I was sick and tired of having shitty remote or shitty controllers. And I didn't expect I forgot about this one. I didn't expect it to work so easy. All I had to do was download the drivers using this toolkit, and boom, it worked in EPSXE natively. I, you, there's a thing you can go to DualShock, and it pretty much sets it up for you. L2, I have a lot of give, yeah. Right, right. I think Lemur uses a PS2 controller. I used to use a PS1 controller. Which was really nice. Although the thumb, the um, the Joy Cons, the Joy analog sticks are quite a bit bigger, I think. So, anyways, but the biggest problem I was having with my controllers is that the D-pad on emulator was just over sensitive, and I couldn't probably notice. You all probably noticed me jumping around the world map like I didn't know what I was doing. Well, it was that if I hit up, it would go two spaces, not one. And then I would try to correct that by going back, and it would go two, not one. And so I lost a lot of time doing that bullshit. Yeah, it works pretty good on computers. Right, the button feel. Yeah, totally. I mean, you can really tell the difference between a Sony brand controller and a generic one. It's, it's night and day quality and the um, sensitivity, the rubber analogs that really help you wiggle run. But we're going to save and use that file to load up a... Why don't we use that file to load up a, a nightmare and, and, and create a flail? Oh, but we didn't do the... I should have unlocked... Well, like, I had to PB. 
somehow I'm going to have to unlock the, um, I didn't really think this through because I didn't unlock the, um, smithy. Gotta unlock the smithy. But I might have another file I could load up. It doesn't have to be this one. Right, exactly. Because I need to get, I think, I think your recipe calls for some coins, right? All good, though. Let's see what I have in my save files. So I go all the way to the end and save because I don't know. I just I just don't want to run into any issues. Some gin coin. Cool. Yeah, I, I figure I'd be doing a lot of the wind cap tempering. That was last night's run. 204, this is 158. Okay, um, 